Okay, I'm going to do a quick demonstration video. Hello everyone. The idea is to kind of show you what goes on inside um, RC transmitters and receivers, especially the new ones. I mean, this is old tech, but it's kind of interesting to see what's going on inside them. So, basically, PPM signals allow you, are, are basically what the transmitter sends over the RF modulation. So, what we're going to do is, I'm sure you're familiar with transmitters like this. There's a train report on the back, like right here. This is the Turner G9X. And that's where you could hook up another transmitter for a buddy box system, so you could like have people helping you learn to fly, etc. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to get this hooked up. So what we're going to do is hook up the oscilloscope, and you can see what's going on. So inside here, I'm just going to use one of these um, little mono jacks here. We're going to hook it up right to there and the ground on here just like that and on the other end we're going to plug into the back of the Turnigy transmitter um, but in order to get the output because of kind of a problem you have to disconnect this module right here you just pull that out and let it sit there it's fine and then you just plug this in And when that happens, oh, whoops, I had to switch here. Okay, so when you plug that in, everything's right. Whoops, oh, there we go. So the turn and sheet transmitter comes on, just like this. Now you can see over on the oscilloscope, new things are happening. So let's uh, change this so we can see what's going on. You see, there's now sort of two lines of signal, so if we make this faster, oh, suddenly there is like a bunch of pulses here and pulses there. So it's going up and down in almost a square wave fa fashion. But um, what PPM is, is a pulse modulation method where it sends various length of pulses based upon the information. So you can see that as we move these sticks, one of the because this is channel 1 right here. Um, channel 1 is used for ailerons. You can see that that first pulse, the first top pulse on the left, gets big, smaller and then bigger in proportion with what we move here. It's really pretty awesome. And then similarly, channel 2 gets smaller and bigger. And obviously channel 3, you can change the most. So that's throttle. You can see it gets huge back down or whatever in channel 4. Right now the switches and dials aren't assigned to any channels. But if you look at this, you can see how many blanking pulses we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And oh my goodness, the Turner G9X is a 9 channel transmitter. So, that's basically how it works. It's pretty awesome. Let me zoom up on this real quick for you if I can. Just going to get closer there. So as we move the sticks, you can see that gets smaller or bigger. And especially the throttle on channel 3 there. It's pretty sweet. So then I'm assuming what we're seeing to the right here, if we zoom out a little bit, like this bit right here is just a big blanking pulse. So if we look at this, currently um, right there, that's set to one millisecond per division. So, and I'm assuming that a division is one of these big squares. So you can look at this and assume that, well, maybe it's a little one actually. You know, it might be at that. No, I don't think it is. Um, so one of these blanking pulses is sort of like two fifths of a millisecond. And then these longer ones obviously change between, well, I think the shortest it is on this transmitter is like three or four fit, and then all the way up to more than a whole millisecond as we move the throttle up and down. So that's pretty cool. So basically, what the transmitter has inside are the switches and dials that we see right here, you know, and the and then it has some, a processor inside 
which takes that and you know does mixes or limits or translates it somehow. And then it has a PPM output, which is what we're looking at right there. That PPM output then goes to, if you have the module plugged in, the transmitter, which is this thing right here. Let me show you that better. Here we go. Which is this right here. And gets transmitted out the antenna on top. And your receiver, obviously, receives that RF signal and demodulates it right back into the exact same stuff we're seeing right here. And the other thing that's interesting to note is that all the receiver does once it's demodulated it is it takes one single cycle of this channel and splits it up out all the different ports for each channel of like each servo or whatever. So basically what that means is it's a really simple circuit. All it has to do is like a timing and separation thing. Um, and so if you were to take just one of these and feed it over and over with, I think, some sort of blanking pulse to a servo, you could change, you can make the servo go. And so if you were to look at just one servo signal, it would look, look a lot like one of these, only it would be um, just one and not all of them. So that's basically how it works inside a simple RC transmitter. That's Turnigy 9X, but they're all the same. I mean, this is technology that's been around, I think, since the, I don't know, 60s or 70s or whatever. So, good luck. Hope you liked the video. See you later.